All right, guys, welcome to episode 108 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly low key. Got Don over here, got the dogs put away. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. But yeah, man, we bike, we bike, we bike. How we feeling, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? We bike, man. Fucking this coffee just hit me really quick. I might have to take a dump soon. Uh, you know what yeah, I mean? when that coffee hits, brother, the shit's just coming right after. Yeah, I feel it tumbling. I'll you know? never forget working at fucking uh, Just Floors with this guy. And we used to go race to the coffee machine. Yeah. It's, it's and then a, we used to go race to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah. And then they got tired of us because uh, the inside... <laughs> <laughs> the inside the inside bathrooms had the AC. They wanted us oh, to bro. shit out in the back in the fucking hot bro, ass they sun. Wanted, they wanted us to they shit us out in the outhouse th- like a fucking animal. Bro, in Florida, it's raining. It's always it's always humid and shit, right? Because it gets hot after. So they, they rain on us, right? And then they cook us up like steam fucking crab legs. Bro. If you think about it, because we boil. Pop us. <laughs> yeah. And then they pop us, <laughs> twist us, you know that twist bop shit? You know what I mean? But nah, it's crazy out here, man. So fuck them. Uh, and we're doing all right. Yeah, it was it was a floor company, guys. Yeah, so it, it was, was a trash. floor company. So it was straight hard labor. I broke my back a few times. Yeah, we chased never, each other around. Never touched homeowners' boxes. They could suck my dick. I'm yeah. not picking that up. We used to Johnny fucking... Boyle V. I'm not gonna lie. Round of applause on my dog. Yeah, I used he to used shit. to fucking you know get his big boy on and carry them homeowners. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> homeowner boxes actually just giant tile boxes, and you would have to carry them and organize them one no, by no. one. Like it was a library. But it was fucking stupid because they'll fucking give you a paper. And for whatever reason, I swear they did it on purpose. Every box they ever needed was all the way at the fucking bottom. Yeah. So you have to pick up fucking like 20 boxes yeah. just to get the one you need and then put the 20 boxes back. Yeah, yeah. You take 12 off, <laughs> you take one out, and then you put the other 12 back on. It's like, what the fuck are we doing here? I need to get the fuck out of here. No, that job was so trash. Nah, bro. everyone everyone quit on the day. Like, like bro. they either left and went home and quit or they came they came to the place and, and then said, Fuck and, they, and they left. So nah, I just never went yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I'm never I'm never breaking my back for money ever I again. I never went back, bro. Fuck all that. But yeah, listen, man. Nah. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and reminisce for a second. And light up, motherfucker. Light up, yeah, man. Light your blunt, light your J pack, your bone pack, your bowl, get your dad bricks ready, your fucking edibles, whatever it is you're rocking with, man. For real. But uh but yeah, bro. You remember back in the day, Room Raiders, MTV shows, the Room Raiders? Yeah, I remember a lot of shows actually, bro. <laughs> and that was one of them. I was just thinking about it. I was cleaning my room and I was like, Man, I remember that show that <laughs> bro, if if, my, if a girl would have saw my room right when it's dirty. Oh bro. Yeah, it ain't when you're a kid too, yeah. I, you're like fucking seventeen, you're yeah. a piece of shit. Seventeen, sixteen, you don't really want to clean, you're being lazy, but like I noticed that when you get older you you start to be a little bit more uh how would you say that? What's a good word? Like like yeah. just you're just more clean. You're just yeah, more clean. You just take you know? care of your shit. Yeah, bro. yeah. You become you watch, an adult. Yeah, you don't have mommy fucking doing certain things for you no more. So you got to do it. You got to do it yourself, yeah. man. You got to clean your shit. But anyways, yeah, it was like three guys sitting in a van, and the girl would would be like, "Hey, you know, like stop what you're doing." They'll pick them up, sit them in the van, and they have a screen, and they're watching her look at their room, and they're just sitting there, and she's just like, "Oh, going through the drawers." Like, yeah. literally, it wasn't even about like. <laughs> how clean it was it was like what do you have what are your interests like yeah. you know what i mean like oh oh wow he likes this oh i love that man you know like so that would make her choose who's who man she would go in the drawer pick out fucking like weird ass shit like what size condom you use like like a whole bunch of shit i'm like yo that's wild yo, that's, 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 that's she violated you know, they're fucking violating niggas privacies but they probably did that shit for like a rack yeah, I would have been like, baby, I'm gonna put the weirdest baby, shit in there. Hey, it's okay. You see that condom? Let's use that. Take this rack after I win. You see that? We're gonna have a fucking good night. How about that? You see that joint? That's for me. But you see the brass knuckles? Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, there's just certain things that's just like. That we all have. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I don't facts. know. I don't know. It was a nah, good show. It was and a good show. Silent bro. Library. Remember that? Silent Library oh, where fuck. you had to shut the fuck up. It was like you and all your friends and there was this funny shit happening. <laughs> yeah. And he just, <laughs> you gotta just shut the fuck up. And if you do, the guy goes, shh. <laughs> you remember that shit? Oh my God, bro. And whoever fucking my just shut up. My dog almost fucking <laughs> emptied himself over <laughs> there fucking <laughs> shush and shit, bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if I was a librarian, bitch, I would be fucking <sighs> rude, bro. No, I just kick everybody up. Yo, if you don't shut the I fuck up. I will carry up. a red fucking card 
<laughs> like the fucking soccer officials, bitch. And, and whenever you talk and you got to get the fuck out, I just come up and go like this. Yeah, man. Red card, bitch, get out. I think that was more of the transition when MTV started going from music videos to actually funny shit. Like Jackass, you know, that was yeah, like... Yeah, they went from music, like the music television, to like just random shit. Yeah, Jackass, I, Wild Boys. Yeah, you Wild, Wild Boys? Wild Bo- yeah, Wild Boys is cool. Yeah, they were a little bit... They were kind of fruity. They were kind of weird. But you know what? <laughs> That's what made them different is that nah, they, they were bro, just different. steve just fucking hilarious. Like those guys are just comedy. He's sober dude. now. Good man. I'm glad. Matter of fact, round yeah. of applause to Steve O for getting sober. You know, he fought with drug drug uh abuse for a long time and shit. And he fought with addiction and finally overcame it. So all of you guys out there that might be dealing with something similar, hey man, go look up Steve O's story if you haven't heard it. <laughs> all you gotta amazing. do is watch a fucking episode and yeah, see how he, crazy these guys are. That motherfucker was on one. Yeah, that bro. Motherfucker was Except for on uh one. what's his name? Uh <clears throat> Black. What was his name? The other one, the one that skateboard, bam, 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 bam. yeah, bam, yeah. I heard he's not doing too well. Yeah, yeah. man, I feel like uh, the loss of Ryan Dunn fucked him up. Yeah, Ryan Dunn, he died here in Florida. Did he really? Yeah, I, that's where he crashed. At? Yeah, he died on I four, but it was like not where we stay at. It was more up, but he was going like over a hundred miles an hour in Florida, and he crashed into a train and died. I was like, holy shit! Rest in peace, Ryan Dunn, and man, I hope. I hope that Bam could find some sort of peace, bro, because that's fucked up. Like, it's not a cool situation, but <clears throat> yeah. at the same time, you got to think about it. Like, when you do certain things, you know what the consequences are a lot of the time. Yeah. When you drink and drive. Like, we were talking about that the other day where mm-hmm. it's like, you might think you know your limit, but you really don't. Yeah, that ass like, that happened know, to me. I only had a few fucking drinks, bro. I'm all right to drive. I've driven like this before. And that night is just, it hits you a little different. Yeah. You forgot that you had an extra shot and an extra mixed drink. Yeah. And now you're fucked up. Now you're really fucked up and you crash, kill somebody else, kill yourself. Like, it's just, bro, that shit's not fucking worth it. And I'm not going to act like I'm a saint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In my younger days, I fucking drove drunk a few times, more than a few times. Facts, me too. But fuck that. Nowadays, if I'm getting drunk, bro, I'm not leaving where I'm at. Like, yeah. for real. No, no, like, no. I'm not going to drink. Go somewhere, go downtown, drink, go so- and try to drive back home. Like, fuck that, bro. And there's, like, yeah, there was times where I was just like, man, I shouldn't have made it back home. You feel me? So, like, you got to take that blessing and just, like, not do it again. Because I could have died that night, bro. You know what I mean? I, I there, was a, there was a situation I was driving and, and someone hit me. You know what I mean? Or maybe I hit them. You know who, what I mean? Who knows? Who, who remembers? Knows? Who remembers? But... <laughs> They remember it was, it was like over a year ago or two. They remember. Yeah. Nah, man, their car didn't do shit. It was a big ass fucking truck that hit me. Oh, they were probably laughing at you, stupid. Yeah, ass. like I didn't even hit their bumper. Their tire almost destroyed, disintegrated my fucking <laughs> bumper, bro. And I almost lost control and died. Like, I'm not playing with you. And, well, I, and I didn't have my seatbelt on, on top of it. And I was just Listen like, man, here, guys, and this is a grown ass man. And this is a grown man talking <laughs> here about making stupid mistakes. So. Don't be a fucking, don't be an idiot. Did I ever man. do that again? No. Don't be an idiot. You know, that bro. was two bottles of Hennessy and no food, <clears throat> you know? Listen, fuck the no food part. Two bottles of Hennessy on two on, on two full stomachs, nigga, you're still fucked up. Yeah, that is true. It does not and I and matter. I was taking shots. It was crazy. It was crazy. It, it yeah, was the most wild. wild. You remember that night when I told you they had the fucking the kid, they brought the kid inside the bar where smoking hookah. When I went with Nesto, they brought a kid and they were blowing hookah. That's some fucking ghetto <laughs> shit. Hey, I'll tell you what, my kid Oh fucking! Got me fucked up, yo, bro. I curse my baby mama out, bro. If you take my kid somewhere, it wasn't. Like, yeah, that, it, it wasn't even the baby mama. It was like both parents, and they were like okay with it. Oh, I was so like, y'all just a ratchet as a unit? Yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. And I was like, man, poor I, kid, man. I that never kid's seen gonna that. have hearing problems by the time they're fucking seventeen with all the parties they're going to. <laughs> Holy shit! They put them right by the speakers. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I'm sure they did. <laughs> Yeah, that was a crazy night, man. That was a crazy night for sure. But yeah, I shouldn't have made it back home that night. My yeah, mom was waiting you for gotta me. Be, you got to thank God, man, and count your blessings. For yeah, real. some people don't some make people, it out. Some people don't believe in God, man, you know, and I feel like it's important. It's important for you for you to have real peace of mind, you know, to have a relationship with God. That's just my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, for listen, sure. Listen, man, yeah. when, you, when yeah. you try to go for your dreams, right? A lot of times, 
it's a struggle between wanting to get in a relationship and not wanting to get in a relationship because like it's a lot of compromise that you have to do. And a lot of the times you have to put your dreams on the back burner to make that relationship work, work. Cause there's, I don't know what it is. Not trying to take a shot at your women. I love you for life, but of course women are different when it comes to that. Like they want the relationship to go before business, before anything else. And, and, a realistic world, it can't be like that, man. Yep. Like if if especially if you want a successful man. Successful men are busy. They're yeah. busy. They don't have they don't have a lot of time. When they do have time, it's limited. And they have to consistently run businesses and do what they do to make sure that everything keeps going. Yeah. Like you like know? it just doesn't it doesn't make sense sometimes, you know? Like you may understand, like yeah, we busy and shit. Or like if we want something to work, oh, he has. If he if you want something to work, you can make time. And sometimes it's not enough time. In sometimes, the day. yeah. Sometimes you, you know? might want to do something and you just it, it can't get done. You have other things to do. Yeah. Or you it can get done, but it might not be at the time that that you want it to be. The the way you the know? way I look at it is that like we have to. The way I look at it, this is the way I look at relationships, you know, and I shouldn't be giving advice on relationships because I'm not really in one, you know, but the way I look at it, though, and my perspective of it is that you have a dream, right? I have a dream. Let's help each other chase, chase each other's dreams. You know what I mean? Like, we can't just like cut off our dreams. Like when there's a kid involved, I get it. You know, it's not about y'all anymore, but like. It depends on what you want to do because it can definitely feed your family. You know what I mean? And people don't look at it like that. And people just want overnight success. Like it's just going to happen overnight. It's a long time. Like it's literally a long time. Like set your standards high when you have dreams because they sound re- unrealistic to other people. But when you prove when you prove people wrong and get it done, it, it really you really leave a stamp on this earth. Bro, listen, and at, it's like at the end of the day, your actions become your habits and yeah. your habits become your lifestyle. Dan Pena was talking about that shit. He was like, bro, I used to go to Rolls Royce dealerships before I could afford a Rolls Royce and just sit in the car and look at it, feel the wood and smell the leather and go to million dollar houses yeah, and just look at it. And he's like, I would, I would act successful before I was successful. Like he would wear suits and go to the banks and talk to certain people like without having a fucking dollar in his pocket. Yeah. And I feel like that's the difference. That's the like that's what makes the difference in life, bro. You you got to want to be successful and you got to act you got to yeah. take the blueprint of success and run with it. Yeah, and you know it, what it, I mean? exactly. And that's exactly right. That is true. And you know what is like let's say that you work your ass off down the line and you never been in a relationship or you had a kid with somebody but it didn't work out and you just ended up raising the kid like my mom, for instance. Right. I'm going to just say my mom. And now she's, you know, she's single. She's just, she got her, she's been accomplishing her goals. She's been getting her, getting shit done. You know, it's good for her. But now she wants to meet somebody that's on the same page as her. She doesn't want to be out there paying for dinner. Right. She don't want to be out there doing all this shit that the, yeah. I'm not saying the man's supposed to, but come on. You know what I mean? When you take it, you I know, feel like, it's, I feel like the man is supposed to. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like if we're, like, we can't be, we can't play, play both sides of the fence. Like. We can't tell women to go be women and then us not be men. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the same way we've talked about women on this show where it's like, like, yeah, like men want a, a girl that's feminine. Well, guess what, nigga? Part of being a masculine man is taking care of, taking care of your shit and taking care of business. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with that if yeah. it's with the right person. Yeah, exactly. You know, if, if the person's trying to take advantage, you you can usually tell when somebody's trying to take advantage, but if it's with the right person, they deserve it, and y'all are on the same level, I have absolutely no problem paying for dinner, all of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and paying that's, for wherever the fuck and, we go after. And that's you know fine. What I'm saying? Like, yeah, and that's fine. And she's just like, the point is, is just like, it's not even about paying the dinner part. It's just she's looking for somebody that has the same work ethic. You know, right. this guy. Like that's this, the part that's yeah, hard. It's like, I can't be with somebody that doesn't have the same work ethic as me. So like, there's there's millions of girls out there and they be they may be the nicest girl in the world. Yeah. They facts. may be They're loyal, you know? Bro. But it's either like if you're getting your shit done, I like that, that's cool, but like really accomplish your goals, like really write them down and really like figure out what what makes you happy, what doesn't make you happy and um 
relationships are hard. They're not easy. They're not easy. I look at all my friends and family that are in serious relationships and it seems kind of hard, you know, no, and, they really t- hard. and they tell me and they tell me like, it's not easy. It's really hard, bro. It's something that you have to work at. Because it's like Ultimately, I think it, I think it's com- communication in the beginning. You have to lay lay this stuff down. You know, like, hey, this is what this is what it is. This is what I want to do. I want to accomplish my goals. I want to accomplish this, this, and that. If you can't help me any type of way, physically, mentally, you know what I mean, financially, any type of way, it doesn't even have to be about the money. It's just maybe I need you for mental support. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, I need you to be there when, like, I'm feeling down. Like, yo, I don't I don't feel confident. Like, nah, baby. Like, come on. You got this. You got this. You know, that's mental support. Yeah, bro. Somebody that's you know? going to hold you accountable, too. Like, you know, I've been <clears throat> I've been in relationship with women that <clears throat> they don't hold you accountable. <clears throat> like, if you want to be lazy, they're like, oh, it's OK. <clears throat> like, yeah. You worked hard enough this week. Nah, fuck that. Get your ass up and go do what you got to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be with somebody that's on your same, has your work, your work ethic is on the same mental uh, yeah. page as you. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things, but. It's, it's about enjoying <laughs> what you do. So, like, when I say work, it's really like I'm enjoying what I'm doing and it's not really feeling like work. So I'm out here doing fact. it all the time. That's a fact. You know, when you're working, you don't do it all the time because that's not what you really, really want to do. You know, it's work. You call it work. Yeah, you know? bro. We were just talking about that, man. Like, like the government puts out little fucking incentives that they want. They they catch people with oh benefits here, doing this, like good pay, whatever. But ultimately, man, like I feel like you got to own your own. Like that's really that's really how you you push your family ahead. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because that you could really pass that down. I think you know people need to start traveling more and start just like finding who they are. <laughs> You know? Yeah, bro. But that takes money and that takes time. It takes time. Because it's yeah. like people are like, oh, just go travel. Well, nigga, guess what? It costs fucking 3500 just to get to Spain. Yep. Yeah. Not that including does. not including go, the hotel. Go somewhere you see what I'm by yourself. So like, go do something. Yeah. Like ultimately, bro, like you got to like you, you got to plan for that shit, bro. Yeah. You got to plan. plan for it and, and understand that it's going to take a while. Like I'm Make telling you, I tell I tell multiple friends. There's a lot of my friends that be like, bro, like what the fuck? You just be staying home, like you lame now, this and that, bro. And it's like, bro, I get it, but I'm gonna party when I when I'm set, bro. Like I, I'm not at the point in my life where I you got to like sacrifice. You have to sacrifice you know certain saying? things. You know, Gary V. Shout out yeah. Gary V. I be getting most of my knowledge from Gary V. To be honest, you know, like Thanks. coming like when you come at somebody like. You can't come out aggressive, you know, and this is something that I'm working on myself is that like you got to be a little bit more empathetic. Like you really have to just start coming at a different route. Stop. I had to stop attacking people. I had to stop, you know, pointing my fingers and start, you know, you kind of kind of you basically have to go in a different route with certain people, man. And like, I really feel like talking about things, it really helps out, too. You know, like, you know, when something bothers me, like my toxic trait is that like. I don't want to talk about it. I don't have like the patience. I don't have the patience to talk about it. Like, oh man, this shit pissed me off, man. He should have common sense. But realistically, common sense is not common. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. I feel like talking about it, it helps. Yeah, bro. That's what men do. (laughs) That's what men do. Like ultimately, man, I've realized, bro, like I have a lot of friends that were raised by just women, right? Or by, that were raised by women that were overly emotional, and that they ended up picking up that trait. Yeah, like a lot of men that were raised by women that are like super Su- emotional, super emotional. Like yeah, whatever it is, like they just they pick it up, and it's like, bro, that's part of being a man. Yeah. It's being able, like, you could piss me off to ends earth, but I could still sit here and talk about in it. a low voice, calmly, and speak about it. Yeah. Because like patience is patience is a virtue, bro. Like you, you gotta have that patience with with certain people. Like everybody grows at a different level, yep. at a different pace. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So you might be somewhere mentally and be like, "Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Why doesn't he get it?" Yeah, he's not there yet. Bro. And emotions, you know like what I'm like if you're mad, don't even just wait. G- give you some time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah calm down first. You know what I mean? Really get your mind right and then talk about it. Because if you if you talk about it in the heat of the moment. It, depending on what the situation is, if it's if it's not that big, it's not a big deal. But if it's something that's like bothered you a lot and you're angry and you come at him at a certain way or come at her at a certain way, I think you should just take a break, relax, and then talk about it. Yeah, nah, facts. But don't wait too long. Yeah, bro. don't wait too long. Don't yeah. don't let it be like yeah. 
Because at that point, then it doesn't even matter. Yep. You should have brought it up when it yeah. happened. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But like, nah, you're absolutely right, bro. You're absolutely right. You you don't jump out of the out, out the window, nigga. Just just because you're fucking upset. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people fucked up a lot of relationships, burnt a lot of bridges doing shit like that. Yeah. And realized it later, like, bro, that wasn't the way to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But so listen, true. man, it's crazy how anywhere that I go, bro, the best fucking food spots are always in the hood, bro. They're always no in cap. the hood. No cap. No cap. Like, it's true. Shout you out go down, Yeah, you go down to Miami, bro. You go down to fucking... You go over to Sanford. You go to, to Orlando. All the best fucking food spots. Kissimmee. They're all in the hood. You had somebody fucking selling crack around the corner when I was eating wings <laughs> on this hood. You know, I had the wings out just chilling out my car. I had the wings pooling. I had a soda. You know what I mean? Soda pop. Wilding. You know what I mean? I see these niggas in the corner just chilling, like just slinging crack. Right? Slinging whatever the fuck it is. It could be... It could be Fentanyl, all Could I know. Be whatever the fuck. Yo, mind it, your business. My, juice, my, yeah, bitch. facts. I, I'm going to look the other way and keep look, eating this lemon pepper, bitch. You know what I mean? Nah, but it was crazy, man. It was really good. Like, at, like top 10. Like, because I've been nah, to some, like, fa- whenever you go to, like, a, like a, a high end or like a like a food chain, it's like it's just like bro. bro. First of all, like a lot of these motherfuckers be capping with the with the portions. <laughs> like you go fucking pay a hundred dollars and you're like, yo, they gave me like a little like the tail of the salmon, bitch. Like hey, you <laughs> bitch, the tail of salmon, bro. All right, you tell me, you tell me it's a motherfucking eight ounce steak. You told me it's an eight ounce steak. I brought my scale, bitch. <laughs> I brought my scale and I put it on there. It's a six ounce. You, bro, yo, you better give me my. Yo, you better give me my eight. Look, niggas be fucking wild. Nah, don't tell shit. me it's an eight when it's a it's six. Eight ounces before you cook it, guys. After you cook it and some of the juices come out, it's gonna drop like an ounce. All right, well, tell, well, well drop, it ounce. Ass, drop it an ounce. Drop it an ounce. It's like me getting an eighth. I pick up an eighth of bud, right? And you tell me it's an eighth, but it's a three point two. It's not the same. It's, it's like it's like it's a three point It's like turning that eighth into wax. You're gonna get one dab, bitch. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. I'll dab. I'll dab your whole kitchen up, bitch. Give me my fucking six ounce, bitch. I need my six ounce, and make sure the sides are actually like sides. Don't give me a fucking little baby fucking. Nah, fact. Hey, matter of fact, talk about steaks. Round of applause for my yeah. goose, man. She took me out to eat yesterday for the birthday. I had a nice ass eleven ounce steak, bro. That's eleven? Nice. Are you sure it was eleven? It, it could have been seven. Bitch. Nah, that bitch was fat. <laughs> that bitch was nice and fucking plump. He said eleven. I'm taking the scale. That bitch was nice and plump. <laughs> I'll tell you what, bitch. That shit was good though. For nah, real. for real. What'd you have on the side? I had uh, loaded potatoes, corn, fucking, uh, and then they had like the sourdough bread, but that shit was so good. It was like. Bro, that shit was so good, bro. The sourdough. Yeah. Damn. That shit was good. Bro. That shit sound crazy. With some butter. Damn. <laughs> it was like homemade butter. It was all, it was like. What the fuck? That shit was, it was a good fucking time, bro. Nah, we, time. we used to, we used to hit CC's all the time. Bro, I'll tell you what, man. Yeah. Our boy shit himself and never went back. Tell me. And then we went the next day and we were okay. Yo, you guys, like, yo, you got a bitch made stomach. Like, do you guys like CC's, man? Because hey, I fuck with CC's. Man. And let us know if y'all fuck with CC's, bro. CC's is. I've been going to there since I was a fucking kid. Yeah, me too. You remember the fucking big ass flat screen they had there? Yeah. It was like giant. It was like flat in the front, but like giant in the back. It was like the fattest <laughs> flat screen I ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> That shit was like four foot wide, bro. Now, from the side. Now the, <laughs> we used to go to that Chinese place too with that with the honey chicken. You remember? Oh no! Nah, and then a, they got shut down yeah, for like. They got shut man, down for, it's always the Chinese spots. These fucking health places always gotta fuck it up. I'm gonna tell you what. What if I don't give a fuck? <laughs> no, um, what if I want to <laughs> eat thirty chicken? <laughs> if I want to eat thirty chicken, let me fucking eat it, bitch. It tastes good, bro. Speaking of chicken, though. Speaking of chicken, for real. When I wash. <laughs> <laughs> When I fucking when I, now when I fucking eat chicken, right? Because I be cooking at home now. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a uh, dog now. My dog is a fucking yeah. pescatarian. Yeah, now. bro. So, <laughs> do you wash y'all chicken, bro? Before you before you cook it? Because if you don't, you don't if wash you your. If you don't, pussy. you're a fucking nasty piece of shit. You right? don't you don't wash you your. You gotta goose. wash. Yeah, you gotta wash your chicken. If you don't wash your chicken, you don't wash your goose. And then you gotta you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Season that bitch right. You know yeah, if I mean? you don't use goya, don't talk to me. Dead ass. I don't want to hear no salt and pepper type shit. Now, give me some goya in my chicken in my fish. Pecao. Okay. Yeah, bro. I've been doing just salt and fucking pepper, bro. Because it's just oh, I don't he's know, a salt just, and pepper. Just the healthier. Dude. It's just healthier, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, from. man. Goya, goya is just ah, <coughs> oh, man. It's just the taste of it. I think it's just a Puerto Rican thing. You know what I mean? No, of course. Like yeah. I grew up on that shit, but 
I don't know, bro. Like, like when I when I eat clean, I try to eat as clean as possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like like if I salad. eat out, whatever, it's different. But it's like if I eat clean, like at the crib, I, I want to eat clean. Bro. Yeah, it's like those people that fucking go eat a salad but have a Coke. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, no, a fucking, let me get an extra large fucking number one with a diet, diet Coke. It's like, bro, you just, you're eating 10,000 calories. You're not on a diet. And you're worried about the extra 20 calories of the fucking Coke. You know the people that are really on diets, when I believe them, is people that work out, like, not work out, but they, they do competitions and shit like that. Like, their diets are strict to the point, like. Nah, yeah. It's, just, it's all discipline, man. Yeah. It's all discipline. That shit's hard. It's hard, bro. Especially if it's not something that. That was ever part of your lifestyle. Yeah, you, you know just started like, doing it. Yeah, for real. Like when I first started going going to the gym, I was like, "This shit ass, bro." Like it was just never part of my lifestyle. Like besides, like high school playing certain sports, I would work out, but I never fucking liked that shit. Yeah. I don't like it now. I just do it because it's like you gotta fucking do it, bro. This shit that you just gotta do that you don't like. Yeah, bro. It is my, what it is. My metabolism slowed down when you get older. That's why I tell these <laughs> little jets, like, yeah, have your fun now. Cause when, when you hit 24, 23, your metabolism starts to slow down. And when all that drinking, all that said henny. 24, 23. Yeah, bro. Like for me, it was. I used to be real, real skinny and I used to eat anything and I would never get fat. Ever. Ever. Now that I eat a fucking Big Mac, bro, the next day I gained three pounds. I swear I'm not even playing with you, bro. I'm not. I get fat super quick, bro. If, for a whole week, if I ate junk food, I'll gain like 15 pounds. Yeah, bro. I, like I'm blessed with that. Like I usually stay around the same. If, if I, as long as I'm not too much of a fat ass, I can stay around the same weight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. But it's like. I mean, just taking care of yourself isn't fucking fun. It's not fun all the time. There's days where you go and it is fun. It's like you're pumped up. You're like, yo, I'm, yeah. like, I'm good. I'm here. I'm ready to go. And then there's days where you really don't want to fucking go do it. I don't know. I'm and just you're in the middle of a set. Like, this is fucking ass. Nah. <laughs> it's yeah. I don't know. I'm at the point where like I enjoy it now. I enjoy it. Um, I don't know. I really feel like it's a stress reliever for me. When I lift hard, I'm like, man. I'm fucking pissed. I notice when I'm really pissed. Nah, yeah, it's a and I great go, stress. I, when I go when I go into the gym, I lift harder because I'm just pissed off, you yeah. know. And I'm just like ah, you know. But when I'm just it's, it's a regular day, I'll go normal. But you should you should be at that uh, every time. You know yeah, what I mean? Bro, it's hard though. Yeah, it's it, fucking, it is. It's human shit, bro. It's human shit. You're not listen, bro. Unless you're fucking David Goggins or some shit, you're not mm-hmm. gonna be a fucking hundred twenty percent every single day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just human shit, and I feel like that's. That's a misconception that a lot of people have. Right? It's like, oh, if you're not going 120 every day, then you're yes. a fucking loser. <laughs> it's like, nigga, shut your ass up. People have shit to deal with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they might go 98. And guess what? You you might hurt yourself at the gym. You might you might need to take a fucking day. No, that ass. No, like, you really need been, to stretch. There's been like, times like there's been times where it's like, you, bro, like I fucked up my shoulder at the gym, and I was like, bro, I really can't go for a day. Like it's not even about being fucking lazy. I just can't fucking go for a day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I if I want to lift the way I want to lift, I got to let this heal for a day. You know what I'm saying? Like that's It's just different things. It's just different things, guys. But listen, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, all right? Listen, man, go down in the description. We're going to put the fucking link to Teespring so y'all could go get y'all some merch, okay? We got the merch, you know what I mean? Come on, bro. And shout out shout out to the people that did buy merch, man. Uh, we had a couple people. Yo, that's all love. That's yeah, all, love. all we had to do was ask, man, and they went out and cop some, right? Yeah, man. So but Listen, we appreciate every single one of y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. She.